I am just a man, a yogi of Tibet. I am Milarepa. I've studied little, but have many key instructions. Though I'm humble, I have great perseverance. I sleep little, and have great endurance in meditation. I'm an expert in all by knowing one thing, and I understand everything to be one. I am an expert in genuine reality. On my small seat, stretching my legs is pleasant. With thin clothes, my body is perfectly warm. With small bits of sampa, my stomach is full. My example is that which all meditators aspire to. I'm a gathering place for those with faith. I'm an object of reliance for those fearful of birth and death. I go in no fixed direction, and I stay in no one particular place. For conduct, I go without reference points. I have no attachment to material things and no notion of clean or dirty food. For me, the pain of the afflictions is small. I have little self-regard and few desires. I have little attachment to perceiver and perceived, and I have loosened the knots from the state of nirvana. I am a friend of the elderly, a shoulder to lean on, and a playmate for young children. I am a yogi who roams the country far and wide. May you devas and humans be healthy and happy. You, faithful disciple sons who have come to this place, do you fervently practice the sublime dharma or not? Has heartfelt faith arisen or not? If you wish to practice dharma from the depths of your being and you don't have faith that turns back or changes, that example is described by the wheel of the relative. For its meaning, investigate your own mind. Should I show you outer appearances as examples or not? To show you outer appearances as examples, one is a vulture riding on the wind, two is a turquoise petal flower, three is a young fawn of the upper valley, four is the six excellent grains of the lower valley, five is a well-fitting garment of silk, six is a precious jewel, seven is the moon on the third day of the month, and eight is a man's precious son. No one has recited these words before. If I don't sing the rest of this song, the meaning of the words will not be conveyed. Thus, to join these examples with their meaning. A soaring vulture that disappears in the sky is an example that illustrates illusoriness. It also shows impermanence. Contemplate this meaning and practice sublime dharma. The turquoise petal flower taken by frost is an example that illustrates illusoriness. It also shows impermanence. Contemplate this meaning and practice sublime dharma. The young fawn of the upper valley, killed by an arrow, is an example that illustrates illusoriness. It also shows impermanence. Contemplate this meaning and practice sublime dharma. The lower valley's six grains reaped by the scythe is an example that illustrates illusoriness. It also shows impermanence. Contemplate this meaning and practice sublime dharma. The well-fitting silken garment cut by a blade is an example that illustrates illusoriness. It also shows impermanence. Contemplate this meaning and practice sublime dharma. The precious jewel that is found then is lost is an example that illustrates illusoriness. It also shows impermanence. Contemplate this meaning and practice sublime dharma. The moon on the third day that shines and waxes is an example that illustrates illusoriness. It also shows impermanence. Contemplate this meaning and practice sublime dharma. The man's precious son who's born then dies is an example that illustrates illusoriness. It also shows impermanence. Contemplate this meaning 
and practice sublime dharma. These eight examples, so marvelous, are for you who send me off to put into practice. Labor and activities will never end. Be free of mundane activity and practice sublime dharma. Thinking there'll be more time, this life goes to waste. Since the time of death is completely unknown, contemplate this meaning and practice sublime dharma. <laughs>